NCAA faces calls to ban trans athletes from competing in women's sports after NAA's decision. Your move. The NAA made its decision on Monday. The NCAA was called upon to follow the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics, NAI, after the Collegiate Organization for Small Colleges and Universities banned transgender athletes from competing in women's sports. The NAIA said its decision was rooted in fair and safe competition for all student athletes, and that Title IX ensures there are separate and equal opportunities for female athletes. The organization said only athletes whose biological sex is female may participate in NAIA-sponsored female sports. The policy goes into effect on AUG. 1. As the NAIA changed its transgender participation policy, the NCAA was called upon to do the same. The organization is currently facing a lawsuit from former athletes over its policy. The NCAA's transgender policies came under fire during the 2021-22 swim season as Leah Thomas became a prominent figure in the sport. Thomas went on to become the first transgender athlete to win a women's national championship. The NCAA said it would follow the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee and each sport would follow the national governing body for each sport. If there was no national governing body, then each sport would abide by the international policy. The NCAA updated its transgender policy starting on Jan 19, 2022, and the final implementation begins on Aug. 1. Take note at NCAA Outkick contributor Riley Gaines, who is the host of the Gaines for Girls podcast, wrote on X. Your move at NKA, Outkick founder Clay Travis wrote. Heritage Foundation President Kevin Roberts wrote. A win for common sense. Your move at NCAA. Former Kentucky swimmer Kaitlin Wheeler added, What a W-I-N. T-H-I-S is what real leadership looks like. Virginia's Lieutenant Gov. Winsome Earl Sears added, Common sense prevails today. It's more than time for the 8 NCA to do the same. The NCAA which is investing $14 million in its women's basketball tournaments, released a statement on the matter to Fox News Digital. College sports are the premier stage for women's sports in America, and the NCAA will continue to promote title. IX make unprecedented investments in women's sports and ensure fair competition for all student-athletes in all NCAA championships, the NCAA said. The NAIA's Council of Presidents voted in favor of the policy change. 20-0, according to CBS Sports. We know there are a lot of different opinions out there, NAIA President Jim Carr told CBS Sports. For us, we believed our first responsibility was to create fairness and competition in the NAIA. We also think it aligns with the reasons title IX was created. You're allowed to have separate but equal opportunities for women to compete.